Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, where one of our very favorite guests is here, Seth Jarvis. He's the director of the uh, of the Clark Planetarium. Welcome to the show, sir. It's great to have you. Great to be here. I almost always uh, somehow start to say Hanson Planetarium. It's all right. That's what I grew up with. That's but, where uh, I started working. That's right, and we love that place. Yep. But uh, the Clark Planetarium is very excited, and I mean it. They are super excited about this eclipse. You got all the young employees that uh, are having to work that day because you guys are taking the day off. A lot of us uh, <laughs> old folks are going to be up there. It's only two weeks from today. So in two Crazy. weeks from today, uh, the, the moon is going to get in front of the sun. And if you're in the right place in the United States, you'll have a total solar eclipse. Wow. As you called this, it's America's solar eclipse because it's traveling right across the country. Right. This is the great American solar eclipse. The last time that the eclipse passed over the 48 states was 1919. So it's been 99, almost 90, well, no, 1918. So 99 years. Um, wow. This eclipse, eclipses happen around the world generally twice a year. Okay. But this eclipse is special because the only place the moon's shadow is on land is the United States on a line from Oregon to South Carolina. Wow. You have to be in the United States to see it. This is an American only <laughs> solar eclipse. <laughs> the Trump eclipse. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> there don't you get go. me started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I, what I thought we wanted to talk about is, um, if you don't go north to the center line, which is right. up around Rexburg, Idaho, Idaho Falls, Jackson, Wyoming, Casper, Wyoming, right. that line, uh, you still get a really powerful partial eclipse. Along the Wasatch Front, we're going to see about 91% of the sun covered by the moon. Even down in St. George, they get 75% of wow. the sun covered by the moon. The closer you get up to that center line, about around Idaho Falls, the closer you get to totality, which is really amazing. The trick, though, is that everybody needs to have proper eye protection for looking right. at it. Even if the only time the only time it's safe to look at a total solar eclipse is during like the two minutes of totality if you're right on the center line. Wow. Then you can see because the moon has completely covered the sun. Yeah. All other times you need protective eyewear. So I thought maybe we could spend a few minutes I think talking it's so about important. protect your eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Because this can blind you. So right. It's right. not the sun is not more dangerous during an eclipse. Sometimes people think that because the eclipse is special that the sun is more harmful. It's not. not. It's just that you have a reason to look at it. So the, the most important thing to do is to just have a cheap pair of the cardboard paper, you know. These glasses. These yeah. glasses. Right here from Clark uh, and you can And you can, you can put them on and, uh, and, and watch the eclipse. Um, the thing that's making the news lately, and that's a little disconcerting, is that some unscrupulous people have decided to make fake solar eclipse glasses. They're willing to blind their fellow man to make a buck. Um, and so the things that you want to look for, uh, first of all, is it from a reputable manufacturer? The, the so ones you know. that some places like American Paper Optics or Rainbow Symphony, uh, the ones we sell at Clark Planetarium are from a major manufacturer. Yep. Another thing to look for is in modern eclipse glasses, there is an ISO certification number. Right but the here. bad guys know how to print that too. Yep. So it's not a guarantee. So the thing you should be looking for is when you look through these things, the only thing you should be able to see is the sun. You shouldn't wow. be able to see anything else. It's not like a pair of super dark glasses, which is basically what the bad guys are selling. Yeah. What you need is something that's so dark that maybe the brightest light bulb right in front of you, you can barely see it. But otherwise, you go outside, the only thing that's visible is the sun. OK. Um, and in, when in doubt, bring them by the planetarium and look for them. Look for things like um, irregular um, coloring and uh, poor sort of printing. poor printing. Uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, the, the, the frames aren't straight, or the material seems kind of uh, not wavy, but uh, different densities. Uh, yeah. you know, as you move it around, you can say, oh, it's bright, like, you know, bright, dark, bright, dark. Um, but other ways for people to do, yep. my favorite is shade 14 welder's plate this for is arc the welding. only one it's acceptable. 14 is the only plates. one. There are other shades, but the 14, and not two sevens, not a six and an eight. It's got to be 14. But this is glass, so you got to handle it a little, bit, a little bit carefully. But it is a fantastic way to look at the solar eclipse. It's crystal clear, razor sharp, and it gives it a lovely green tint. Oh, wow. Uh, that's pretty that's cool. Great. Okay. Other things to do is we can sell you at the planetarium filters that slip over the front of your telescopes. Yeah. Uh, 
that are awesome. Uh, filters that slip over your cameras and over your binoculars. I like that. And if we don't, if you have something weirdly sized, we can even sell you just a sheet of the stuff itself and then with a little scissors and cardboard and hot glue gun, you can make your own filter. A lot of people don't realize that if they look at the sun through a pair of binoculars, they think that maybe they're safe. That's definitely not safe. Neither is a camera. Right, um, you, yeah, the, the the light is just too powerful for your for your eyes. And one of the things that people got to be careful about is that if you are seeing the sun dangerously yeah. and you're burning your retinas, you it doesn't know. hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no pain sensors there, and so we think that because it doesn't hurt, it must be okay. Only things that hurt are bad for you. Wow. Don't do this. Ophthalmologists call it uh, solar retinopathy, and it's uh, it's bad news. Uh, now we have only a minute left. Oh, sure. I want to talk about uh, where to watch. Okay, so. If you want to come down to the Salt Lake Valley, the planetarium in cooperation with other organizations, Discovery Gateway and the County Library System, um, Wheeler Farm, we're going to mm -hmm. be out there. Come to the Gateway Plaza, go to Wheeler Farm, go to check out your Salt Lake County libraries. Um, otherwise, uh, Call the planetarium. Come. We have Eclipse Week starting next week. Okay. This Saturday, bring your telescope to the planetarium, and we'll help you get it figured. Yeah, uh, ready, configured. ready to go. Right. But I recommend if you're going to travel to the center line, go way, way early. Don't think you're going to drive up Monday morning because the leave world. At least the day before. Two, two days sooner. before. Two days, two days before. All right. right. It's Clark Planetarium. You can find Thank out you. everything you know you need to know to make sure that it is a great opportunity to see that solar eclipse. So we will see you here on the Mountain Morning Show tomorrow with our eclipse class. This is on. We'll see you then.